Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everybody to my Facebook live session. And I hope that all of you who are watching, this message reaches you in the best of health and best of Iman. So I read somewhere, and this is a hadith, that a man is blessed, a person is blessed if he has a long life and a lot of good deeds and is in the best of health. So I'm going to make a prayer for all of you that may Allah give all of you a long life, healthy life, free of diseases and a lot of good deeds that are accepted. So I make dua for you, you all make dua for me. Ameen. So I am today very excited. Why am I excited? Obviously because I want to show you my new book. So this is the cover of the book. Now I know that on Facebook Live it might appear a little bit flipped. So bear with me and I will post the images and other stuff on the Facebook page. So this is the cover of the book. So it follows the standard pattern. So as you know, so these are my usual cover. So this is the standard pattern. So this is the Surah Taha book. This is the new Fall of Constantinople book. Um, this is the title and the scene is Sultan Mehmed who is entering the city, you know, given a guard of honor by his soldiers. This is the spine of the book, uh, the back of the book. So you have a little bit of synopsis about the book, some scenes and so on. One thing I wanted to tell you is that I gave this book out to three reviewers. Um, to just, you know, look for grammatical errors and everything. They all came back and they had one comment. And I, I'm, I swear. So all of them said, what a story. What a story. And I have to say, it's not my story. I'm just uh, repeating the history. So you can see that I have written here as narrated and illustrated by me. So in the other books, the books about uh, the surahs, I used to write, you know, translated and illustrated. So because this is the, uh, these books were the tafsir of the Quran. So obviously the writer of the Quran is Allah Pak subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are just translators and illustrators. This book is about history. So it says as narrated and illustrated by me. So. Let me put that aside and I, I want to talk to you about this book. So why a new series? So this is our golden history. The other one, to bring it back, these were read with meaning. So this one says our golden history. And why is that? Um, so one thing I've noticed is that Muslims, we Muslims today, we generally do not know about our own history. So. Like I, I live in Canada, my children are being brought up in Canada, and we study a lot about Canadian history, naturally, but we also study a lot about Western history, World War One, World War Two, and especially World War One is uh, presented from a Western lens, and the Ottomans are the bad guys, the British Army, they are the good guys, and so on. Whereas you know, there's a lot of complexity. Battle uh, World War One was generally a you know battle of empires. There's no right or wrong. Um, for this one, I, what, and what I notice is that other than perhaps Battle of Badr and a few other chapters from the Sira, and even that many people do not know. So I, st I decided to start a new series on history, and these books are particularly for older kids. So uh, I said before when I launched this book that this would be for teenagers and even older. And parents also, you will find fantastic value in this book. Um, so I chose the fall of Constantinople for one reason. So if you look at any list of most important battles in history, history, recorded history, and these are usually compiled by non-Muslim historians, so they have their own bias. Um, European historians, they like to put Battle of Hastings at the number one for whatever reason. But even in all lists compiled by non-Muslim sources, Two main Muslim battles feature. One of them is the Battle of Ain Jalut, and the other is the fall of Constantinople. In fact, this battle or this siege or this moment in history is such an epoch-defining moment that 
people have said that the Middle Ages ended and the modern era began in 1453 when Constantinople fell to the Muslims. And why is that? So just to give you a brief idea, so here you can see, for example, I, I know it's a bit flipped, but these are walls. So let me put that aside. So for a long time, you build a wall like this. So let me show you the towers as well. So for a long time, you build a wall like this, your city is safe. The higher your wall, the thicker your wall, your city is safe. And Constantinople and the way it fell changed all of that. So let me show you what they did. This is the first time cannons were used. And I mean, technically, I'm simplifying it. Cannons were used actually in Ain Jalut, they say. But this is the first battle where cannons decisively, you know, broke the walls down. So it didn't matter how high your walls were or how thick cannons would break it so just with a new technology gunpowder a new empire was born and the moguls the safavids and the ottomans they were called the gunpowder empire so again muslims changed the history and for four thousand years people have been building walls 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 and now we have some leader who wants to build another wall and in one moment sultan mehmed changed the history so let me show you a bit about the book let me also I made a list of points that I wanted to talk about so before I show you the inside the scenes of the book I also want to show you one thing so remember this I always said that you know this was the Muslim throne this was the Christian throne about this book but this book is also about two civilizations they, we have the Muslim civilization the rising Ottoman Turks and we have the falling Greek Roman civilization, the Byzantine Roman Empire. And whenever we Muslims study history, we tend to focus on our glories. And it's natural. Nobody likes to read about defeats. So even when we talk about Spain, for example, we always talk about Tariq ibn Ziyad. Why? Because he conquered Spain. And look, Gibraltar is named after Tariq ibn Ziyad. But we do not talk about why Spain fell. Cordoba, the mosque where 12,000 scholars had durus at the same time. Can you imagine? At the same time, 12,000 scholars were holding lessons. Today, that same mosque is a church. Why it happened? So, through this book, we'll have two sides. And I will focus not only on the Muslim side and the preparations they made for battle. Because remember, when Muslims used to go to battle or anything, we say we rely on Allah and our faith in Allah is strong. But Allah is telling us to prepare. So a lot of the scenes in this book will focus on the preparation. But on the Christian side, you will see how far the Romans had fallen. The Byzantine Empire used to stretch from Scotland to Iraq. And it used to include Spain, all of Europe, north of the Mediterranean, all of North Africa, the whole Mediterranean Sea or yeah, Mediterranean Sea was a Byzantine lake, they used to call it. Such a big empire, and it was reduced to a mere city which held out and ultimately fell. Why did such a civilization fall, and what are the lessons that we can learn from it? So that is also something we should know. We are cheering the Ottomans in this story, but we should also know why the Romans fell and reflect that we see the same diseases that the Romans had is it coming today in its present in the Muslims and is it also there slowly creeping into our civilization such as the Western civilization so corruption you know a lack of empathy from the leaders um, a love of this world lack of courage all of this so you will see this all in the story so enough about the Lego let me talk about the book so as I said the cover so standard scenes so if you have bought any of my books you will recognize the format that I use so one of the things that I have done this time is um, so from my first book was Surah Kahaf and the new Taha and now this the quality I feel and other reviewers have felt has gone up in each book so this book the pictures are the highest quality of all the books um, so let me show you a couple of the scenes so these scenes, so, yeah. 
So they are taking place in the court of the Ottoman Sultan. And some of these scenes are taking place in the court of the Roman Empire, Emperor. So whenever you read about the history of the conquest of Constantinople, or as it's commonly known, fall of Constantinople, and that's the title I chose to use, there are some famous scenes. So there are scenes where how he took the ships from one lake into the other, into the Golden Horn, they say. Uh, the scene with the admiral where he failed to stop the ships, the final attack, the plan of the attack, all of that is covered in this book. So this, for example, is a scene of a lunar eclipse that happened. Uh, you will see as you read the book, I'm just throwing out these so that uh, it whets the appetite. So this is, for example, the scene where the sultan is watching from the shore the naval battle that is going on. So all of these scenes, so these are, you know, in the palace, they have maps and they're looking at the maps. Um, let me show you also the, the scenes with some of, some of the scenes outside the walls. And every, as I said, I took uh, every care to make sure that every panel is of high quality. Um, this is when they were completely surrounded and they were transporting the ships. So those who know the history of Constantinople and how it felt, they will enjoy this book even more. And if you don't know, you will love it. So um, this is a total of 193 pages. Uh, the Surah Taha book was about 227 pages, if I'm right. So uh, it will be around $29 on Amazon. Those who are in the greater Toronto area, they can contact me for a slightly lesser price uh, in Canadian dollars. Um, the book will be released on April 7th, inshallah, 2018. And I have a bit of, uh, like why I chose April 7th is April 5, 1453 AD is when the battle started. So you are talking about, uh, let me just take a look. So exactly 565 years, 565 years to the day when the battle started is when I'll be launching the book, inshallah. So April 7th, uh, the book will be out on Amazon and it will be out on Kindle as well, uh, electronic. So remember, the fall of Constantinople. This is aimed slightly older kids, teenagers and their parents. So please buy it. Please support the work. And... This is one of the most important battles ever in histories, and you know we come out on top on this, so it's important that we learn it. Thank you for watching. May Allah bless you and your families. Thank you.